Hello again friends Today a short video I just made this 3D printed a speaker Yes, you can 3D print a speaker I tried to find out and it works uh, First I will let you hear Let's play some music I will put it close to the mic, to the camera I just turned the sound a little uh, bit uh, higher I will test again Hopefully it's a little better now Hopefully you can hear it I can hear it this far Remember, this one now is coming out from a 3.5mm jack headphone jack from a cheap speaker I'll tell you the steps in short, let's pause the music This is the design I made It's very simple um, Just the base Which is here With a hole For a stack of uh, Like two and a half centimeters of uh, uh, Magnets, medium magnets uh, So I stick it there, I'll show you here now And here In this middle uh, uh, Cylinder, the coil. Okay, I will take it apart. No problem. This is the base. This is the stack of magnets, cheap magnets from China. Just put it here in the center. And here is the speaker itself The, the first, the, the bottom of it, this is the first layer It's only like uh, 0 0.2 millimeters layer So it's thin, very thin layer So it can move freely And here is the cylinder in the middle I just uh, put a coil here it's around um, 120, 120 uh, turns uh, I, I didn't do it uh, like it should be the, the, exactly this uh, this size or this, this wire size or this uh, number of turns I just did it like that just to test it but this is the very fir first test so I will be doing uh, absolutely a better one in the future but this is interesting it works <laughs> uh, the wire should be much thinner than this this one is like 0 0.35 millimeter I think it should be like 0 0.1 or something it had to be calculated anyways just put it like that and here there is an edge and edge in, the, in this one as well so I, sorry uh, edge and uh, curve so it will snap like this 
We run it again. Play some music. Cool, for a very first test without calculation, without anything, it just works. So now you know you can 3D print a speaker. Uh, this is not powerful now because of first the calculations and second because it's coming from a 3.5 millimeter jack of a cheap speaker. I didn't connect it to my Mac Pro or my 5.1 uh, sound system because uh, I'm not sure uh, maybe it can da damage the sound card because of the resistance, low resistance in the coils. So again, it has to be calculated uh, to provide the, the power needed and the resistance needed. And then it can be connected to an amplify, uh, amplifier so you can just hear it just like a normal speaker. But now it acts like more a uh, headphone jack because it has a low power from a 3.5 millimeter jack for a headphones. If you made one without calculations, make sure to connect it to a cheap speaker, not your uh, expensive speaker or, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, your expensive uh, sound system or your laptop or uh, so. Uh, I will upload the files and uh, we'll put the link uh, down the video in the description enjoy it bye bye